So it turns out there was actually a trophy celebration at the end of the season. I forgot to include it in last episode because I edited that before I knew that these things were actually in the game this year. To celebrate the Eredivisie and Orange Becker trophies. Would have been nice to have the Europa League with it. But of course, we did not get it, ladies and gentlemen. A brand new season is upon us. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you want a double upload for this new season. And welcome to the first ever Tuvies Tuesdays. Every single Tuesday there will be a double upload. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive in to a brand new season. Hello travelers and welcome back to the best Kuruma channel here on YouTube with the best player Kuruma series, Okuro Chinwenwe. Is he still with Feyenoord? Is the question, ladies and gentlemen, last episode was the season finale of our season three with Okuro Chinwenwe and Oh boy, was it an ending. Now, of course, we were still with Feyenoord in our third season, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we started the season off pretty darn decently. We had four Man of the Match performances in a row after our first match. We got up to a two-month torn calf muscle, which set us back a bit and was a little bit nerve-wracking. We ended up winning the Eredivisie, winning the league tie. We won the Orange Becker as well, ladies and gentlemen. And we got all the way to the semi-finals of the Europa League. Unfortunately, we just fell short. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there were a lot of teams up for grabs. Feyenoord was there. Marseille was our target team. Manchester City, Inter Milan. Bayern Munich came in for him. Real Sociedad came in for him. Inter Milan, AC Milan, Roma. There were so many teams, so many possibilities that Okuro Chimwenwe could have gone. Ladies and gentlemen, he has, in fact, changed club. He is no longer a member of Feyenoord. After his three-year tenure, he won the league, won the Orange Becker, and thought, time is now to change. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, play the clip showing Okuro's brand new team for this season. So the choice was there. More options than we all expected, but coming off a fantastic season, it only made sense. Okoro got declined by Manchester City in the end, so the hunt for Premier League glory vs Bram Okubu will have to wait till the future. German giants Bayern Munich got involved and attempted to steal Sierra Leone's wonder kid from Dortmund. Fan favourites in Milan still have that top spot in the betting odds of where Okuro will be playing next season, but Italian rivals Napoli got their noses involved too. Dark horses like Galatasaray and Real Sociedad came out of the shadows also as the transfer speculation heated up. In Okuro's mind, however, there was only one choice. There was one plain choice, and that choice was very close to home. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Okuro Chimwenwe is going home to France to play for Marseille. His hair has been growing since the end of last season through the summer, and he is now a player of Marseille in Ligue 1. Ladies and gentlemen, I think there's going to be a lot of pros and a lot of cons for this. I think a lot of people wanted Inter Milan or Dortmund or Man City. But again, he's only 23, 24 years of age. He's coming off the best year of his career. The question is, do you want to... He's only, he's only 81 overall, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to take that best year of your career, go to Man City, go to Bayern, go to Inter and sit on the bench the entire year, become a wonder kid that failed to reach their potential and is never heard of again? Or do you want to go to Marseille, go home for maybe one or two years, fight with PSG, fight in the Champions League, see what he can do, see if he can do the impossible, win the Ligue 1 with Marseille, beating PSG and Lyon and Monaco and the others. And, um, you know, do the impossible in his home country, second home country after Sierra Leone, of course. 
and then go to the Juventus, the Bayern, the Man City, etc., etc. And he thought for his career that it made the most sense to go to Marseille first, have a year or two. It doesn't have to be. Hey, maybe he becomes a club legend. Maybe he's here for five, six years. Who knows? But uh, the, 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 the plan is at least a couple years here in Marseille before potentially moving on. He's gone to number 35. And I mean, it kicks off heavy, ladies and gentlemen, away to PSG for the first match of the season. They also play a 4-4-2. So they've signed Okuro to be a right midfielder. It looks like he's playing right mid instead of in the middle. Uh, in a 4-4-2 formation. We have a, a regen centre-back. I've not realised. 87 overall. Next to Hanko, 84. He fits in with the team as well. Again, 81 overall. He can grow up to like an 83-84 this season. And he still fits in with this team. Whereas if he went to Man City with a bunch of 90 overalls, he wouldn't fit in. He'd be on the bench. It'd be a bit of a mess. So I personally think this is a great choice for him. I think it's amazing. I think it's going to be a fun year in France. Uh, a league that we barely go to as well. Instead of going straight to the Prem, straight to the big teams, we never go to the Prem. Uh, never go to the France League, sorry. So I think it's going to be an interesting one. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you are excited and you think it's going to be a fun move, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this man has just joined because I checked the team. It wasn't here. He's from England. Ronnie Baldwin, 17 years of age, 87 overall, ladies and gentlemen. Never, he, he must be a region because I've never heard of him before. He looks... In, holy, he's got pace. He's got heading accuracy. Six foot one. That's going to be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently on 32,293. What subscribers at the time of me doing this? In the future, it won't be. It's probably changed already, but... Make sure, subscribe to the channel if you... Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get 50,000. Enjoy the video. Thanks. Chimwenwe is the only cam on the team. Again, they don't play with a cam. They've signed him to play on the right-hand side. They do have Mala Saar, 28 years of age. Uh, they have Dembele, the B-Tech Dembele. Uh, they also have Vimmer, Patrick Vimmer, who's a right winger. So whether or not he plays. Taliska is a striker. They have uh, Kramaric, 35 years of age. Rafa, 33. Quite an old team. And DA as well, 26 years of age. There are some French players in here... Uh, with him, of course, Bubaka Kamara, French centre mid that he's going to be playing alongside. Hanko at the back. Uh, Renan Lodi. Has, is this the same Renan Lodi? What, is there two Renan Lodis or is this the same one that we played with? Didn't we play with him like in season one? Maybe, I don't know. Are the, yeah, I think we've just signed in 2026. I think he played with us season one. Vimmer Okura fits right in. I think it's going to be a fun year, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you do too. Let's kick off the year uh, opening up against PSG's grown out his beard a bit. Grown out his hair. New look. On the right-hand side, he's like a sacker. Inverted winger because he's left-footed, remember? It's going to be a fun year. Out on the wing. Again, it's like a nice little different thing. You know, instead of... He's been camped for three years now. You know, he's been out of the wing a little bit on the bench. But now he's a proper right midfielder. It looks like he's going to be starting there. Get his speed up. Get his crossing up. Get those whips in. Inside forward. Cutting in. Finesse shots. Top bins. A lot of dribble moves out on the wing. I think it's going to be a fun year. Hopefully you do too. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's dive right in to his debut in France. Bram Okubu, by the way, 92 overall. Captain. Flo is 88 overall. Look, if we went to Manchester City, 89 overall, 90 overall, 90 overall, 90 overall, oh, 82, 85, 94, 88, 82, 83. Like, we, we just would not... 86, 88, 85, 85. We just wouldn't have got game time, 86, 82. We would not have got any game time with Manchester City. It just did not make sense, ladies and gentlemen. Bragamit is 96 overall. <laughs> Again, Dortmund wanted us to 84, 86, 89, 88, 89, 85, 92, 88, 82. It just, we, we, we would have been on the bench. Sang Song Min, 91. Would have been on the bench the entire time. It just did not make sense. Bayer Leverkusen, though, the team he supports, 80, uh, they're high overall, so again, it doesn't make sense now, but Gabriel Party, Fofana's there, De Bruyne, Erasmus Hoyland, oh my god, Jeremy Fringpon, Xhaka Grimaldo, they have such a fun team, Timo Werner, they have such a fun team, and of course, Berger Salomonson, oh, we have to make them our target again, that is going to be fun. Inter Milan. Oh, they have Giovanni Perez, 88 overall, our former Pez, but I love seeing with the old players. Inter Milan, they wanted us. We could have gone to in again. 88 overall. We could have been with Giovanni Perez. Uh, Costa, 87. Again, they're just they're just too high. You know, he's not ready for them. Tammy is up there. 
Um, Okura's just not ready. 90, 82. He's not ready for these type of teams, but there's a lot of fun teams out there, that's for sure. So Leverkusen, so, so to regain our thing, they want passing rate, matches starting 11, outside the box goals, flair pass matches one. I um, See, they always want tackling rate, but to be fair, tackling rate, first time shot goals is five. Match rate six, easy win, league cup potentially. Appearances, Leverkusen is doable. At the, end of, uh, at the end of this year. Juventus are all already coming in for us. As are Monaco. Interesting. We'll keep an eye right. Now it's time to dive in, ladies and gentlemen. PSG away from home. We're playing on the right-hand side. Away from home. Sleeves rolled up, ladies and gentlemen. The Rinsky YouTube channel. Today is an arcade day. And today's video that you're currently watching is sponsored by Regents Pro Wrestling. The number one wrestling show in sports entertainment. Become a YouTube member today to get your very own contract in RPW live on this channel. Every Monday and Friday. 3 p.m. Get involved. There's also a Discord link. All the links can be found in the description. Get involved. If you have more questions, join the Discord. We'll answer over there. Mondays and Fridays, RPW. Don't miss out. I still wish there was the intro to the matches. They're on old gen. Here we are then. PSG versus Marseille's first match in France. They have the scoreboard in France, which I like. It's a big bloody scoreboard. Up against Mbappe, of course. It's going to be a tough, tough season. Against the likes of PSG and other teams. I wish they had like the intro where they show the lineups and everything. I hope they mod that in or, or patch that in or something. Uh, Okuro in unfamiliar territory out in France. Out on the right hand side. Where he's not really been playing too much of recently. We'll see how he does. In his new team. In a new position. Is Malasar already a run down the right side. Ball in. Oh, lucky. Strong start by Marseille. Could be a very fun season. A very fun season. And again, there's still time to go to Manchester City, Juventus, Bayern, all these massive teams. But I think Marseille's a great little uh, great little choice. A great little team. To see how things go here in France. Here is Okura's first touch for his new club and already sprinting down this right hand side. He's got a bit of that speed back that he lost at the end of last season. Nadir, down to the left-hand side. Renan Lodi, who I'm pretty sure was with us at Feyenoord. Ball goes in. Good save. We get a free kick, though. Hopefully, Okura's still on penalties and free kicks. That would be nice. Donnarumma's there. Mbappe. Okura getting involved. Bubaka Kamara, the other Frenchman on the team. Oh. How do you say that striker's name, by the way? Is it Endia? Endia? How do you say that striker's name? Let me know in the comments down below. Xavi. In two, Mbappe. And there is the first goal of the season. And who else but Kylian Mbappe. This guy is going to be dominating this French league. It's going to be very, 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 very tough for us to even get close to being top. But hey, that's the fun of being at Marseille for a season. Trying to outdo PSG. It's going to be a hard season, but it's going to be a fun one. I wonder if, if, if Okura's going to play right wing the entire season. If he goes centre mid. At all in the 4-4-2 if they change formation. Maybe Okura changes his position to an actual right midfielder to get some more speed. Although, he has speed here. Cutting inside on his left foot. Oh, he skies the shot though. First chance for Okuro. Cutting inside. Number 35. He's lost his number 74. Oh, it goes wide. Okuro is going to be trying to play like Berger Salamis on his favorite player. Like a Bukayo Saka. Cutting in from that right side. Getting assists. Getting goals. Hopefully with some crossing in there as well. Nice dribbling. Up to Taliske. He's out on the left-hand side now. With his Malasar. Ball into NDA. Again, I don't know how you say his name. Bad pass, though. Kuro. Lovely dribbling. Around the left-back. He's still going. Is Okuro Chim Wenwe. PSG, of course, very, very fast. He passes inside. Oh, what a save, Donnarumma. What a save, Donnarumma. Fancy getting PSG first game, by the way. Away from home. This is outrageous. I like having the scoreboard. Referee. That was not a foul. I think Marseille... I didn't see where they finished last year. I probably should have checked. Hopefully, they're in the Champions League. They got top four. Would be nice to be in the Champions League again. After reaching the semi-finals of the Europa League. Hopefully, they're up there. We'll see. Inter Milan ended up winning the... Um, Europa League over Manchester City. Again, two teams we could have went to. Good tackle, Marquinhos. Taliska. Is it Taliska or Talissa? Again, some names I don't quite know how you pronounce. Good ball up, Endia. Lovely turn. Oh, Donnarumma. Stop it, man. Just stop it, man. What a save. Could have been the assist. Taliska, well done. 
Cutting down the left on the brink of half time here. Of course, coming down to help. No. Start here, man. This is uh, this is something else. I like it. It's number 35, though. Martinelli's old number. I know he's on the right, not the left, but it's uh, the 35's not a bad number. Again, he's, he's not a main player on these teams yet. That's the thing as well, you have to remember. 81 overall. He's not a, a star player on these teams right now. He's a starter, but he's definitely not a star. Nice turn into Tiliska. Oh my god, how many chances are we going to get? <laughs> but yeah, he's 23, 24 years of age this year. He's still, you know, learning. He's still growing to be that star player. You know, like other people's uh, play careers on YouTube, they become a star player in their first season. I find that boring. I find that boring and predictable. Oh my god, what a save. I think it's so much more fun to slowly build up. You know, we're in our fourth year, only 81 overall. Uh, our second team in his career. Still learning to, to be a star, be a starter, and be that star player. 31 goals last year, though. He was playing like a damn star, that's for sure. Good tackle there on Mbappe. Kuro, if you can knock it, which you can't. Usman Dembele. Back to Mbappe. Xavi Simons in the box. No. Clear it, though. Showing some former speed. He used to have pass inside to Taliska. Back out to Okuro. Chimwem. Way. Losing out. Usman Dembele. Half an hour left to play. Still 1 0. He goes all the way out to the right hand side. Nice tackle by Hanko. Someone help him. Someone help. What is he doing? What is he doing? Finally gets rid of it. Good ball as well. Okurich in one way. Running down the middle way. He used to play for Feyenoord. One more for Endia. No, he keeps it. Okuro's drifting up to the left side. Through the middle is Okuro. Chin one way. Tiliska was square. He goes for goal. Donnarumma's different gravy, man. I thought Edison was good in that semi-final. Donnarumma's different gravy. Okuro's not on the in-swinger corners, it looks like. New position, left striker. They're trusting him as a striker. Shot is blocked. Oh, dummy. Okuro Chimwemwe in the box. Right foot. Oh, my God. So many chances. <laughs> oh, no. PSG are so good. I love this gameplay more. That's for sure. They're so, so good. It's cleared. Only as far as Okuro Chimwemwe off the block. Oh, my God. Rebound. Oh, my God. Don't have Roman, man. We're not playing bad in our debut. That's for sure. Nice one, too. Okuro is meant to be a left striker. He's still going down this right side. Ball in. Telisco. Oh, hefty touch. Vima in the box comes on the right side. Another corner. How? Have we, we're, we're battling PSG, which I'm proud of. I'm proud of the fact we're battling PSG. Out to the right. Out to the right. Oh. Oh. Faffing about with it. Good tackle. Vima. Okuro's in the box. Oh, come off it. Uh, we moved. I thought it was moved to left mid now. Instead of striker. And did, okay, so we're playing left mid now. So we can play either wing. Which I like. I was wondering if we're still striker or not. With the last 10 minutes on the clock. Okuro's out to the left-hand side. Now Vimmer on the right-hand side. ND. Nice ball in. Taliska. Lovely touch. Goes for goal. Gets blocked. Try not to call for it as much. Oh, the counter-attack. Mbappe one pass. Up to Usman. The counter-attacker dreams. Final five minutes. He goes out to the right side again, though. Okuro. Nice layoff. And again. No. Valverde. Good tackle. Up to the left. No. Oh, corner given. So many chances, man. That is so bloody poor that we haven't scored, honestly. Just goes to show how strong PSG and how strong Donnarumma is. Oh, my God. What a safe keeper. Rebound. Well done. Oh, they've given a penalty. Last second, they've given a penalty. What is the point? Mbappe takes. And, of course, Mbappe scores. 2-0 in our debut not the start to Marseille we would have wanted. Long ball up to Okuro. Lovely touchdown. Turning the defense. Who's up there with him, though, is the question. No one he loses out. 2-0 loss away from home. Again, did you expect anything else other than Mbappe Brace? Probably not, but we gave it our all. Some promise in there. There was some promise in there. I like the scoreboard. There's a lot of tough teams in this league as well. It's not going to be an easy season, though. That is for sure. Already getting our passing rate up and stuff like that. Appearances, of course, that's going to be straight up. It's going to be a fun season, I think. It's going to be a fun season. Coming off the bench, right midfield for Ismail Asar. We are down to 10 men, 0-0 no at home again. I like this. New team. We come off the bench sometimes. It happens, ladies and gentlemen. 
Nil nil, Vimmer's just come on as well. We'll see what we can do. The question is for this episode in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. I think he just stays as a cam and he's just played wherever. Centre mid, right mid, left mid, maybe striker, sometimes who knows. Or do you think this is the start of Okura changing his position? Because people do that. Bale goes from left back to left wing and on restart left wing strike. It happens. Um, does he go to a centre mid? Does he go to a, a winger? Because that's what this team clearly needs. Does he go to a striker? Let me know in the comments down below what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, does he stay as a cam for this season? Does he change position? It could be an interesting thing to go into. So far, his whole career, three years, he's been just a cam. But um, who knows? Maybe he starts changing to an actual winger, to an actual striker, a centre midfielder. Or he just stays as a cam and plays where the manager needs. It's going to be an interesting thing to see. Because Vim as a right wing can also play striker. I wish he could have secondary positions. Like everyone else gets a secondary position. Why can't we unplay a career? When's that update coming? He's coming off a 31 goal season. A two up top formation. He could be like the creative striker. Along with a goal scorer. Who knows? Teleska. Oh, lovely ball. I think he's offside. Lovely pass across. Oh, he was offside. Oh, what a ball that was. I mean, the fact of the matter is, in this season, PSG are not going to lose a lot of matches. If any, they're not going to lose a lot of matches. Right? That's the, that's just the, the fact of the matter. Right? So, realistically, I don't want to say the season's done already. Because, obviously, it's not. But the thing, of, the thing is about it is, is the fact that we know they're probably not going to lose a lot of matches. The more matches we don't win, e.g. we draw and lose, the more unlikely it is that we're actually going to win the League Ur Trophy this season. And again, I, I mean, we're not favourites to win it. It's not like we're supposed to win it or anything like that. But I would love right. to see us potentially, you know, battle referee, battle mm -hmm. with PSG mm -hmm. for the League Ur title. <laughs> Maybe win a little domestic cup in there. Uh, see if we're in the Champions League and whatnot. And I think it could be a fun season, Bad Boss. Let me know in the comments down below as well. Where do you think we're going to finish this season? Do you think we have what it takes to win the league with this Marseille team? Or do you think PSG are just too damn powerful? Nice ball across. Bad first touch. Okura coming in surely offside, no? Chimwemwe with the ball. Switching it over to the left. Lovely pinger. Jeremy Doku to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Renan Lodi into Nadir. We are man down. But that will not stop us. Teleska ball into Okuro. Chips it up. Shot is blocked. Is that a penalty? Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, my God. It did get handballed. Are we still on pens? Please tell me we're taking pens. Oh, no. It's a corner. I thought it was a pen. Well, we're on the in-swing corner, which is nice. I prefer taking in-swingers to out-swingers, even though that was absolutely terrible. I thought that was a penalty. Vim, a good tackle. Ball up to Chim Wenwei. Edge of the box. Oh, what a goal. Okuro. Chim Wemwe. And I think he's got a signature celebration. I wish the camera showed it from the front. It's like the Rashford. I don't know who does this. It's like the Rashford, but he also covers his face. From the end. Oh, my God. What a finish. His first goal for Marseille. Oh, this is going to be a fun season, man. New trim. Grown out his beard. New number. New position. New. There it is. Oh, this is going to be a fun season. His new signature celebration. First goal for Okuro. Chim Wem Way. We're a man down and now we just have to hold on to this lead. What a what a goal. What a goal. A lot of those cutting in finesse can happen this season. Okura also playing defend. Oh, we handballed it in the box. Was that in the box? Is that actually a penalty? Oh, we I was just gonna say he's actually gonna play defense this year because he's on the right. Oh my god, he handballed it in the box. I can't be bothered. He actually tracked back to do some defensive duties, ladies and gentlemen. And it touched off his arm. And he gave away a penalty. I can't believe it. We win it back. Taliska. Ball up. Oh, he's blocked off. What's that left hand side? We're a man down at the back. Oh, we should have just parked the bus, man. To lose in the box. Cuts inside. Don't want to give her another penalty. Well done. Last 10 minutes. It's now or never. Chim Wenwei on the run. Chim Wenwei really on the run. I wish I could see if he's controlled, lengthy, or explosive. That's one thing I would love to know as well. Nice cut inside. Taliska, lovely layoff. Oh my god, lovely football. Oh, beautiful play. But the keeper saves. Corner in. Okuro in front of the defender. Okuro. 
Shim Wenwei. Oh, it's going to be a fun season. Oh, it is going to be a fun, fun season, ladies and gentlemen. What a corner in. In front of two defenders. Header over the goalkeeper. He's got a brace in his first home match. For his new club. Cushioned off that big header. Off that big hair, sorry. Keeper, no chance. Oh, what a day. I know we lost the first. Oh, he looks so cool. He looks so cool. You can see his tattoo as well. Oh, my God. He's got oh, it. Now we defend. Come on. Okura gets stuck in. Love that. Chin Wenwei. Love that. Right, we don't want to faff about with it too much. Going to switch it over to the left. We just need to hold on to the ball, boys. Oh, which is exactly what we did not do. By losing it straight away. Somerville. In the box. Okuro's in the box defending as well. Get a leg in. Well done. Well done. Okuro helping out as well there. Well done. And Chinwenwe now can run. Oh my god, Chinwenwe. Can run down this left-hand side. His first home match in front of the Marseille fans. Sprinting down this left-hand side. Who is in the box for him? They're entering the box. Lovely ball in. Diving header. Oh my god, what a goal in the deer. Diving header. Okuro Chinwenwe. His first home match. Off the bench. Two goals and an assist. His crossing has improved. He can actually be a very good winger this year. Because his crossing has really improved. And the home fans celebrate our first win of the season. What a run, Chim Wenwei. Oh, see, this Marseille, this is going to be a fun season. New position, Cam. So they do play with Cam as well. This is going to be a fun season. I don't care. This is the vibe season. In his home country of France. I guess his, ho his dad's home country. His dad's French. He was... He's from Sierra Leone. But of course, he's uh, playing for the French national team. This is going to be a fun season. We still have time as well. He's 24. He still has time to go to the Man Cities, the Bayerns, the Juves. This is going to be a fun, fun season. Here in France, 3-1 home win. I really like the team too. I really like the players that he's playing with on this Marseille team. Full-time referee. I oh, love that. That x tackle was OP. 3-1 win. Absolutely sensational. Two goals and an assist. Off the bench, uh, 61st minute against Lens away from home on the right-hand side. Couple bench appearances to kick off the season. It makes sense. We do have a glitch kit, by the way. I forgot to change it. Just like Feyenoord, uh, the third kit is glitched. So sometimes you may see this white kit. I don't know why certain teams have. Maybe they don't have a third kit in real life yet. I don't know. Um, let me know. Do, do Marseille have a third kit in real life? I have no idea. But some of them are glitched. That's just the game being bad. Um, but that is okay. In future, I'll try to switch off them. Chimomi already fighting for the ball back here. Nice dribbling. Ball goes in. Lovely ball as well. Oh, and it just goes wide. What a ball it was. Incredible scenes. Mate, wing wingers, like, again, wingers one of my favorite positions to play. We know that from Berger Salomonson, from... Um, Theodore Dragomir starting on the wing before being a striker. Like, I love being on the wing. So, Okuro Chimwenwe as a winger, or like a wide player, you know, I think it works. I really, really do. Like, Fabio Vieira, he's a camera centimeter. He can also play on the wing. Kai Havertz can play cam center forward on the wing. Saka can, if you need to play in the middle. Like, it happens in football where people, you know, you, you know them as one position, but they can easily play a different one. And I think Okuro fits as a winger. So, so many people were saying a few episodes ago when he had all that pace that he should be a winger anyway. He's a bit slower now than he was. But now he's on the wing. And again, I think it makes sense. Especially if the team needs it. Oh, should have went for a power shot there. Not finesse. And it also makes sense when his favorite player was Berger Salamoson, a right winger who's left-footed. It makes perfect sense that he would want to be a right winger who's left-footed. And um, play like Berger Salamoson does for Leverkusen. Lovely dribbling. Edge of the box. Ball into Okuro. Great save keeper. Fulgini. Losing out there to Okuro. Still trying to be that playmaking type. Head up on a swivel here. Ball into ND. Round the defender. Oh, lovely dribbling. Lovely save though. Beautiful football there. Incredible. Liska. Into Okuro. Through ball. First time short. He gets it off. Keeper. Is going insane today. Another ball in. Taliska back post. Lovely ball on the volley. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. I'm loving the crosses. See, I like that. Look. Four shots. Only one has been Chin Wenwei. Oh, two from the long shot. Sorry. But he's not taking all the shots for Marseille on this wing. He's being creative. Oh, bodying. This is with no strength as well. 
Look, he's just out on the wing. If they want to pass, they can. Taliska! Oh, my God. The goalkeeper is insane. Chimwemi not on corners. It makes me worry that he's not on uh, free kicks or penalties as well. Even though... Oh, my God. Most of his stats... Well, we're going to find out. Luca Digne, we're going to find out. All of his stats are in free kicks and pens. Oh, I, I didn't think he would. I think finishing and shot power, you guys said, also go into it. So he's not on them. Taliska is. Oh, my God. He's missed a penalty. This goalkeeper is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Chimwemi wants to take it quick. Oh, never mind. Up to Taliska. Nice turn. Oh, there's the finish. And there's another assist. for Again, he's going for assist this year. I know he's coming off 31 goals, but oh my god, he's on a new team. And this team can actually play football. They can actually play football. Tell it, oh, let me see a replay, please. Okuro took his time, turned him, edge of the box, left. Oh, this team can actually play football. Oh my god, magnifique. Ladies and gentlemen, the French football. Bonjour, la oui, oui, bonne la patetitite. Pass the defense. Ball up to the middle. Could go back to Okuro. He's going to run into the middle instead. Okuro's in the box. Again, I'm trying not to call for it. I want to see what they do instead. Okuro comes back down to the right-hand side. Ball goes in. It's blocked. I like not calling for it. Just seeing what the team do with the gameplay mod. I trust them anyway. It makes for better football. I definitely think Okuro's going to be in the starting 11 next episode, though. He started against BSG. You know, he's the new play. He started against BSG. They threw him in the deep end against BSG. Came off the bench a couple games. He has two goals, two assists in two games off the bench. I mean, it makes sense that he's going to be a starter next episode, surely. On the wing, I'd love to see some skill moves, too. I think he's four or five-star skill moves. Lovely little fake shot there. Burst of speed. Look at this. Down the right-hand side. Little dink into the box. Goes over the striker's back, though. Cross goes in. It's blocked out, though. Oh, we have to clear our lines. It's only 1-0. Well done. Okuro's going to get it up. No messing about. Okuro, big tackle on. Luka Dean. Space down on this right. They don't use him. Now they could. A lot of space down here. Taliska in the middle. No. Gibbs White, edge of the box. Now in the box, Arthur Cabral. Goes wide of the post. Nice ball in. Not now. Surely not now. Oh my god, what a save, Sanchez. That would have been heartbreak to lose out there. The keeper's up and he's pushing the defenders. It goes front post. Okuro's there. Who could have probably cleared that a little bit better, if I'm honest. Up to Frankowski. Ball goes in. Oh, my God. Get it out, boys. Well done. And there's the full-time whistle. 1-0 away win. Taliska with the goal. Well, Kuro with the assist. Oh, I like this team a lot. I really do. We are in the starting 11. Uh, transfer deadline. I wish we could see all the transfers. Uh, it doesn't look like too many big names have moved this transfer. Oh, well, actually, now... That I realize it, the the the, the um, Karimod mod is that because it wasn't working before I realized. So now it's actually working. So these are all the update. Oh, 34 year old Salah goes to Newcastle. I mean, only 37 mil, but that's the biggest transfer so far. Medina from PSG to Inter Milan. PSG get a bit weaker, which is nice. He sold David Hanko to Liverpool for 40 mil. He was our captain. Now Bubaka Kamara is the captain. He was like. One of our highest overalls. Oh, 19... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A 19-year-old goalkeeper, Martin Sanchez from Mexico. 86 overall. Where are we getting these regens from? I'm all for it. We lost a good centre-back, though. That we're not going to replace. We lost a very good centre-back. Well, we are going to be back in the starting 11, ladies and gentlemen. I'm guessing on the right-hand side. Yeah, playing on the right-hand side. We lost a good centre-back. Got a good goalkeeper. Again... The team's up at, you know, low low, low 80s, high 70s is what the team looks like right now. But I think it's going to be a very fun season. Hopefully you do as well, ladies and gentlemen. We'll catch you in the next one. Uh, do we stay calm? Do we go winger? Let me know in the comments down below. Ladies and gentlemen, much of as always, take care and peace. Uh, and also, before you leave, before you leave, uh, click on one of these two videos. I think they're like up here, that left and right. They're somewhere on the screen right there. <laughs> they are. Yeah, there you go. Click, click, on, click on one of them. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you click on one of the videos, um, you can move on to the next one. Make sure you stay on this channel, though. Reading's Kid channel. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. 50,000 around the corner. One of these. Hey, you know.